Sunday will be the next morning. Uh, honestly, it was a good result against a very tough opposition. Uh, obviously, the rankings are very deceiving in terms of uh, where Myanmar stands in the rankings. But we know how good of a team they are, especially with a new coach coming in. Obviously, the players uh, had something to prove and uh, they were good, honestly. Uh, but I think we as a team, uh, especially after coming after the ISL and most of us uh, getting very less training, uh, getting together as a team for very less days, uh, coming here in, in a new city, new stadium and performing the way we did. Obviously, it, it was something which could have been much more in terms of result, but uh, a win in a clean sheet never goes wrong. Uh, the first match against Myanmar, the team missed a lot of chances. so. Like the team needs to be more clinical up front and is the team concerned about scoring or the lack of goals actually? I mean, if the, <laughs> if the penalty was given, I'm sure Chetri Bhai scores it. Uh, the goal that he scored in the second half, we saw it later, was an offside. Uh, so if those goals uh, are in, I'm, I'm sure that this question won't be there. Uh, obviously, uh, everyone loves to score. But at the end of the day, we need to look at the result. Uh, we won, and that is by a goal. So I don't think scoring is a problem. So uh, apart from Chetri, but there are many other players up front. So how are they working to reduce the goal scoring stress from Sunil Chetri? Why should we stress Sunil Chetri in terms of uh, scoring goals? I think that is his job, and uh, I love seeing him score goals, and that's the way it should be. And in terms of uh, strikers called in, um, it, it's only what Manveer, uh, Sunil Bhai, and the Shiva was supposed to be there, but unfortunately uh, he couldn't join us. So we have two strikers out of which uh, one scored. I mean, yeah, he scored, but offside. So I have no complaints if uh, Sunil Chetri scored. I stress him more. What are your expectations from the previous level of the it's going to be a difficult game. Obviously, uh, we know that KPS is, is a good side with very good individual players uh, who come from a very good level. I'm sure that most of them play at a decent level. And uh, they have had the same coach for the last 10 years. Uh, so he knows what he's doing and uh, we have great respect for them. And uh, our, our job is to go out there and make life difficult for any opposition that we face and uh, make sure that we come out with the result. Um, it's, it's going to be important uh, in terms of uh, where we want to be as a team. Um, again, we, like I said, we want to go on the pitch and uh, get a result. That's our main goal. So, two, two friendly matches in this FIFA window. So, do you think India needs more highly competitive games? And can you name some countries against whom India should play? Myanmar, Kyrgyzstan. I think it was. <laughs> it, I think they are good games. Um, two friendly games are, I think, most uh, amount of games that a team can play in a FIFA window um, because it's only about eight to ten days. Uh, so. I think the AFF did a great job uh, getting these two teams because they are still around uh, where we are as a team. Uh, one is above us in terms of ranking and uh, Myanmar was below us, but they are great competitions. Like I said, don't let the rankings deceive you. What are your reflections on the basic form of you as a goalkeeper? I mean, uh, I would have loved to keep 20 clean sheets, but uh, it's fine. I, I think uh, I was happy with myself uh, throughout the season. Uh, I think I, I was able to contribute in uh, most number of games uh, in, in the ISL. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't end up with the trophy. But again, I'm, I'm really proud of uh, the way uh, my team played and uh, I was able to show up again uh, after two very uh, average seasons uh, by myself and uh, by my team. So there are three goalkeepers in the national team right now. So there, there must be some competition between all three of you. So how is the competition and how do you keep yourself motivated? Because this competition, it motivates me. Uh, we have very good uh, goalkeepers in India. Um, 
we have Amrinda who is there and uh, now Purva who has showed immense uh, growth in the last two years is there and I'm very happy to have him in the camp and uh, enjoy training with him and uh, not to mention we have uh, Vishal who did amazing, amazing and uh, big congratulations to him and other keepers, uh, again I'm saying that keepers are really good in India. Uh, we have uh, Prabhsukhan, Dheeraj, all of these guys are doing so well. So the more competition helps me motivate uh, more because it uh, obviously makes you um, better as a player. You just said about Purva, he's doing well, you said. So what are the issues of the other new entrants in the league? The big, big, now and Mahesh. Mahesh has uh, surprisingly done well this year. Um, he contributed a lot uh, in his club and uh, in the national team as well. He's, he's come in and uh, he has impressed all of us. And uh, Ritpik is, uh, is a magician on the ball. Uh, when he's in his uh, flow and his mood, he can beat, uh, I think, 9 to 10 players easily. But uh, it's, it's always too uh, nice to see that we have new players coming in uh, and uh, trying to get a gauge of how the national team works. Uh, trying to gel in as much as they can and, and prove themselves uh, so that we have a stronger squad. So the AFC Shilpur is in Germany and this will be Shilpur's last Shilpur if, if that happens. I really hope this is not. But <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do you think Cristiano Ronaldo is going on by Shilpur. Do you think this will add and this will have an added pressure on the team to perform even better? If Shilpur says that to me. <laughs> Personally, yes, then it will be like, okay, yeah, we need to do something uh, big for Sunil Bhai. But again, as a team, um, when we go out on the pitch, uh, when we are training, when we are playing games, uh, no one is thinking about this. Everyone is thinking about uh, doing their jobs, performing their roles on the pitch and uh, play to win because that's what matters. Obviously, it's, it's a big moment if Chetri Bhai uh, will not proceed again uh, after that but we can't we can't think about that and go on the pitch because uh, it's it's not going to help anyone even if it's good or bad uh, we just need to make sure that uh, we are focused on a job because that's what Chetri Bhai would want. If, if Chetri Bhai leaves so India will be in search of a new captain whom do you think should be the next captain? Whoever the coach uh, decides should be. You, you yourself? If the coach decides, no problem. I have no problem. So, last question. How has the team evolved under your team? How far have you come now? Um, I think we achieved uh, our goal which was qualifying for the Asian Cup. So, I think uh, we've done really well as a team. Um, the qualifiers in June were one of the best three games that we played uh, under coach. And uh, I think we we can build on this. Uh, obviously, we need more time together in terms of uh, training as a team. And I, I really hope we get that uh, during uh, this year, this calendar year, so that uh, we are in the best possible uh, scenario going into the Asian Cup. One, one extra question for you. Uh, what is the difference that you have noticed between the coach team and the previous head coaches you have played like, for the national team? See, that uh, question doesn't uh, not me because I'm a goalkeeper, so I'm a goalkeeper for the